Hello everyone, we've been learning about plate tectonics and we're <clears throat> that's where most of the action happens at the edge of the plates is the boundaries. So we're going to draw two important boundaries, the seafloor spreading and subduction. So first, align your paper so that it's profile, not landscape, but vertical like this. And you'll want to divide it in two. You could either draw a line with a ruler or just fold it in half that way. And then we're going to label the top half C floor spreading. All right. And at the bottom, we learned that there's an outer core and an inner core. So we're going to draw the outer core right here. We'll label it outer core. Now it's extra hot right here. We'll label it that way. And up here, right about the middle, we will make two tectonic plates. So we're going to make one tectonic plate going like this. Keep that line parallel to there. Make it a little bit wider as you go out to the end here. We'll talk about that in a minute. We'll put another one over here. Kind of looks like a mustache in a way. All right, make it a little wider at the ends. And then we will put the ocean over the top here. Can I just go parallel to that? Here's the ocean. You can tell this is looking at the earth as if you had sliced it. So there's the ocean around the... There we go. And now since it's extra hot right here, <coughs> that's going to that's gonna cause the, uh, the material, the matter, in the mantle to rise. Things are hotter than their environment, they get less dense, so they rise. <clears throat> when it rises, some of it's going to pour out the top between these two plates. And it's going to pour out, and when it cools, it's going to make lava. The, lava's going, the lava is what's pouring out when it comes out of the surface, and that's going to pour out and become igneous rock. And this igneous rock cools quickly, so there's no crystals in it. And it's going to create a mountain range underwater. All right, so we can even label that. We can call that a undersea ridge. All right, and this is huge. Just goes all the way from the from one end of the Earth to the other, pretty much down the Atlantic. One of the largest features on our planet. It's all, but it's underwater, <clears throat> and the mountains can be as tall or taller than Mount Washington. So. These plates, which are lithospheric plates, are moving apart. So that is called divergent. It's a divergent boundary. It means they're pulling apart. And what's driving this is the convection that's in the mantle. Make sure you get the convection going the right direction. It has to be moving the ocean plates so that they're going part. See how it's parallel to the lithosphere? So the lithosphere is a fancy term. We'll label that. Lithosphere. And what that is, that's the rigid solid outer part of the earth. It actually includes the crust, the relative, and the and it's solid. And they are plates that are moving apart. So that's called the lithosphere. Right, and this is the crust right here. And <coughs> the, this overall process actually is creating crust. So it creates. It's a, it, it creates crust. Subduction we're going to see destroys it. Now if you're constantly creating crust, somewhere it has to be destroyed or else it's just going to keep accumulating crust and you can't do that. So one last thing to do here is we'll label this convection. Convection. And that is in the mantle. Alright, so that is seafloor spreading. Next we're going to draw subduction. Uh, before we do that, though, another thing came to mind. We want to label this as the old, and this is old, and it is new here. So this is new plate, new rocks, 
and this is old here. And in the middle, it's going to be thinner because it's just been created. There's been very little time for sediment to accumulate. However, as you go out from the center, the lithosphere is going to get thicker and thicker because sediment is coming down over millions of years and accumulating on the bottom. So the whole plate is actually thicker here when you also include the sediment. So it's thicker here, thinner here, newer here, and older here. All right. So that concludes seafloor spreading. Next, we're going to draw... At the bottom, we're going to draw the subduction.